But our final presenter, and someone who I think we can all agree, this is her house. <laughs> and she built this house. You see, Sandy Ox retired after 21 years as the executive director of the Carroll County Arts Center, this building that we're in right here. She led the effort to purchase it and renovate this beautiful facility and establish some of the Arts Center's signature programs, including Festival of Reeds, Arts Camps, Musical Instrument Bank, the Yart Sale, Yart Sale, get with the A-R-T, Sale, it, she says it a lot better than I do, apparently. Um, Foreign Film Festival, and of course, of course, the infamous Peep Show. Prior to moving to Maryland, she held leadership positions at the Museum of the City of New York, uh, the O'Neill Theater Center, the Hudson River Museum, and the Rochester Museum and Science Center. She lives on Lake Ligonor with her husband, George, and currently spends her time traveling, and of course, now breathing, a little easier, right? While Sandy always loved the peeps that appeared in her Easter basket as a child, her rabid obsession for them began in 2006 when she entered the Washington Post's first annual Peeps Diorama contest, and she did not win. But it inspired her to make her own contest and vowed that it would be bigger and better than the Post. And I think we all can agree that indeed it is. The Carroll County Arts Council's annual Marshmallow of Madness now attracts more than 25,000 visitors to our community each year. Please help me welcome Sandy Ox as she enlightens us with everything I learned in life. I learned from a peep. The thing I miss most about being retired is I don't have an IT guy, so these are my slides, but we've got some good pictures for you to look at while I flap my gums. <sighs> The Just Born Company was founded and is still run by a Jewish family. They've been making peeps and Easter candy since 1923. Yep, Jews making their fortune by celebrating and indeed honoring a Christian holiday. They were building bridges between religions before it was even fashionable, so I knew they were worth watching. Tonight I give you a snapshot of what they've taught me about business and life. Number one, know your audience. Naturally, the Just Born Company is obsessed with freshness until they discovered that a large portion of their customers actually open the packages in advance to get them stale and crunchy before they eat them. And then with the nationwide craze and peep diorama contests, they later found that many customers don't even eat them. They just make cool stuff out of them. So don't assume you know what your customers want. Get to know your audience. Number two, change. For decades, this company just made chicks and bunnies, chicks and bunnies, chicks and bunnies. To remain a successful brand, they had to change. So they branched out into making candy for other holidays and cartoon characters. They even introduced flavors such as maple syrup and sour watermelon. And they even made a sugar-free variety, which to me is sort of like vegan sausage or non-alcoholic beer. But the point is they changed to keep their production lines running all year long and increase their market share. Number three, only put out your best. When I toured the Just Born factory, I was appalled at the huge amount of candy being pulled off the conveyor belts just because their little beady eyes were crooked or the sugar wasn't perfectly even. I mean, who really cares what a marshmallow blob looks like as long as it tastes good. But they have very high quality assurance standards and only their best make it to the store shelves. Shouldn't we all strive to only put out our best at all times? And if you're wondering what they do with all that rejected candy, well, they donate it to pig farmers to feed to the pigs. So essentially, bacon is recycled peeps. <laughs> Number four, build things to last. Peeps advertise a shelf life of two years. And I've eaten one six years old, and I'm still here. They make these things to last. Nobody makes stuff to last in this disposable society anymore. Our landfills are at capacity. Now, wouldn't our world be a better, cleaner place if more things were made to last? Number five, we're all the same inside. 
Peeps come in every shape and color, but inside they're all the same. We love to put that slogan on t-shirts and mugs, but we often fail to live by that motto. We divide our world into classes and political parties instead of trying to find common ground. Please remember that just like peeps, we are all the same inside. Number six, looks can be deceiving. Just because peeps are covered in sparkly, sweet, brightly colored sugar doesn't mean this company runs on rainbows and unicorns. Keep in mind, the primary ingredients is gelatin, which is the politically correct term for ground up hooves and beaks. Now, I, I don't want to dwell on how the sausage gets made, but just remember, no matter what your line of work, there's always some ugly stuff behind the scenes. Number seven, know your expiration date. Justborn must adhere to strict FDA standards, and they would never sell a product beyond their expiration date. You know, we all have expiration dates. I'm, I'm not talking about death. You've seen how burnout can cripple a worker's enthusiasm and effectiveness. If you're out of gas, you need to either fill up your tank or stop driving. I don't regret for a minute that I honored my expiration date recently. Don't forget your roots. For 90 years, that sweet, simple yellow chick, you know, the one on my wrist, is still what defines Just Born's brand. Over the years, they could have changed that logo and turned it into different shapes and colors, but they honored their history by sticking with their chick. As you grow in your own professional careers, never forget your roots and never apologize if your roots are just sweet and simple like the chick. And the final lesson I learned, Carroll County is just one of the sweetest places and it was a privilege to work here and be a part of this community for 21 years. The support and kindness I received will not be forgotten. Indeed, Carroll County has the sweetest peeps around. Thank you.